The perfect cup of coffee is one that when I drink it, my eyes close and I find myself almost trying to chew on it. And I feel my toes squirming inside my shoes and everything disappears for a minute and my whole body kind of like tenses up. I'm like, oh my God, this is just fantastic. There's definitely an art to it. And the people that care about it and the people that love it and the people that pay more attention to it are the ones who will almost invariably serve you better quality. Every day, the world consumes 300 tons of caffeine, enough for one cup of coffee for every man, woman, and child. Every time I pull a shot, in my head, I start counting. One, two, three, so I'm timing every shot, and I have a rough idea of how long it's gonna be. I pour my milk, I get my milk steaming, I get it all ready. The espresso finishes, you take it, you pour it. All of those different things with the sounds and the smells and the sights, and then finally when it's done, then you get to drink it. And if you've done everything right, you've done a good job, you have something fantastic. To get this caffeine, first bees must pollinate the flowers of a coffee tree, and these flowers develop into bright red berries. Unlike more cooperative domestic plants, the coffee tree does not ripen all its berries at the same time, so they need to be hand-picked and sorted. Once picked, the coffee bean is removed from inside the berry. This young seedling of the tree is then dried, heated, ground, and submerged in boiling water to get out the precious, precious caffeine. Drinking coffee is a kind of national pastime. 58% of Americans drink coffee every day. Even as little as one cup of coffee, even decaf coffee, could have powerful health benefits. Yeah, I just like to uh, get my fix on with uh, Americana or Marjai's coffee and continue that out throughout the day. I can't do anything less because otherwise I'd be ashamed of what I serve. But I'd wake up, I'd stumble over, make sure the temperature is right, everything would be hot, I'd take the force of filter out, put it under the grinder, grind a little bit of beans just to clear it out. Chuck those, regrowing so I fill up my force filter. So you have that, you groom it, you tamp it, you put it in, you pull the lever down, it makes a certain sound. The sounds of the grinder, the whirring noises, the smell of the coffee that's starting to come out, the look of these tiny fine grounds of coffee flying into your little espresso basket, filling it up. You tap it to make sure everything's just right, you groom it to make sure that it's nice and clean and flat in there, you tamp it. The subtle noises the machine makes, the noise of the first few drips of it coming out hitting the cup, and then the next few drips hitting the cup, and the way the pour sounds the cup starts to fill up. And everything is now part of what's in my head as this is the process towards ending up with the cup of coffee that I'm looking for. They did some interesting studies that basically the outcome of which was to say that people who drink coffee spend most of their lives suffering from caffeine withdrawal and the buzz that you get from drinking your coffee in the morning is not actually you getting a buzz, it's actually you just cancelling out the symptoms of the withdrawal that you're feeling up until the time that you have your coffee. Poison though caffeine is, you do still develop an addiction to this stuff. And it's a real physiological addiction, not a wimpy psychological addiction like people claim for video games and the internet. But caffeine isn't heroin, rapid withdrawal won't kill you. It might make you cranky and give you a wicked headache, but since caffeine releases dopamine to make you happy and it gets rid of headaches, there's really no reason to ever stop using this stuff. I guess heroin people are probably the same way, you know what I mean? If, you, if you're a heroin addict, you probably like tie your arm up and you pull it tight and you're like, oh, I know what's coming. And then you like flick the needle and do the, I don't know, the whole deal, whatever it is, and the whole time you're like, yeah, yeah, this process is exciting. So at the end of it, I get that, that buzz, you know what I mean? And so, whilst it's a little bit more legal, um, there's definitely probably some kind of similarity there. Everyone you know is getting one step closer to the coffee that you're waiting for. 